allay some fears for, for Sixers fans. What is the deal with the back? Yeah, there, there's no uh, cause for alarm with this injury. It's a sore back, and uh, I'm told that Embiid is expected to be back for the Sixers Christmas Day game against the Knicks on Monday, but in the, inter the interim, he may miss now their next two games, both against Toronto, but they're going to just uh, take precaution. Any a big man who is as mobile as he is, yeah. um, these type of injuries are going to come up, um, and they just want to make sure they quell any um, uh, Quell it by just sitting him here for the rest of the week. All right, so they will proceed with caution with MB, but maybe we'll get to see him on Christmas Day, which is always a treat, especially with the Sixers and the way he could play. All right, let's talk about a much more durable big man. You just spoke with Anthony Davis, a story up on ESPN.com right now. What is the likelihood that Anthony Davis stays with the Pelicans long term? Well, he's got three years left on his deal, and, uh, you know, this summer, DeMarcus Cousins will be a free agent, and that'll certainly dictate a lot of Anthony Davis's future in there. He likes playing with Cousins. They have found a way to play very well together. But what uh, Anthony Davis uh, communicated to me was he is, this is the prime of his career. They have missed the playoffs two years in a row in New Orleans, and he's finally finding his voice as the franchise player. And, and, and I think what he did was lay it down a little bit that they have to get better, they've got to get better talent. This organization has to get better, that he looks at Golden State, San Antonio, Houston, and sees these teams competing for yeah. titles and knows that he's not going to be, uh, he's going to be judged, as he said, we are judged on winning in this league, and, and we need to start winning here. We need to get the pieces here to do it.